Good morning, everybody. We are playing the swindle. Let's see. Oh, I haven't come back to it. Attempts on the Basilisk 1. Successful. There are a lot of stats. I've died three times. Uh, my name is Chris. Uh, welcome to part two of our swindle playthrough today. Um, honestly, I didn't realize that I've done that many heists so far, but uh, we're playing today as Timothy Harper, and I think we bought as many, I think we bought as many of the upgrades as we could this time, so we're going to get going, we're going to hop right into a heist, our goal today, our goal for this part is we're going to reach the next stage, we're going to get enough money to get to the warehouse district, regardless of how many attempts that, that has, that takes, that means, that takes, uh, I imagine as long as we can find for one as long as Timothy doesn't die that's a big thing can I close this ha oh my god you can close doors it's like I'm a human being or something um oh my god oh no um so as <sighs> yes yes Suck it, uh, suck it, bam, bam, ah, oh, I'm not, ah, okay, good, I'm not the best thief, uh, ha, ha, um, I'm not the best thief, uh, as you can probably tell, because I struggle at not getting seen, uh, for one, so, I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave, we're going to get out of here, we're going to take our haul and just cut and run. Um, 770 is not bad. Like I said, it's going to take about 4,000, I think, to get enough security clearance to make it to the next level. Um, I don't know, and, the, and that's the thing, I don't know if... To make it to the Basilisk, if we have to get a certain number of upgrades, if we have to make a certain amount of money, if we have to have a certain number of successful heists, what the requirements are necessarily, I would imagine we have to get enough security clearance to get through all the way to the Basilisk, I think. I didn't look through all of the options, so I'm not entirely sure, but that would be my guess. Our goal on this on this run is we're going to try to get success. We haven't had we haven't had a successful run in a while, I don't think, because we've for one, I would just like to not get seen. That's a big thing. I would like to get through this, take out all the guards, make it through here pretty casually and just get going. Um, I don't know how easily that's going to happen, but we're just going to take it slow. We're going to get through this. So far, we're doing good. Just got to not hit the spikes. So I realized last time in our part one that I kind of misspoke. Um, I'm still not sure entirely how true this is, but I said, I think I said right at the beginning of the first video that when you die, you lose all of your skills. Um, which I came to realize wasn't true. Com Can I not get down there? Oh my god! I can't even get down there, I don't think. Uh, well? Well? Maybe I need to go, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to get down there, but apparently I can't. Um, anyway. Uh, like I was saying though, the I feel like at the beginning of the first video I said something to the effect of, God, 8%. We are struggling. Um, but that if you died, you lost your skills, which I was proven wrong on that point to an extent because I kept my hacking skills even after I died. Um, so, what that says to me is at least some of the skills you retain. Now, I don't know if that counts with upgrades. Like, if I upgrade 
my mobility fully, does that mean that I... I don't know what that is. Um... Ah! 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 Oh. Um... But if I upgrade a skill entirely, does it mean that I get to... keep that skill, but not its upgrades? You know, to what extent do I... do I lose a... lose a skill? To what extent do I keep a skill? That kind of remains to be seen. But... As it stands right now, uh, that seems to be, you know, we seem to be doing all right. Um, seem to be, at least for our limited time going through this, it seems to be that we're we're holding on to everything. So that's the that's the main point. As long as we can hack computers, I think we'll be okay. Um, because computers are the bread and butter. There are three guards right there. I thought it was one, then I thought it was two, and then I realized it was three. Also, just through complete happenstance, I realized just now, not just now, but maybe in the last heist, that you can actually hold on to the wall by, uh, you know, quick, quick, quick pro tip here. If you hold the opposite direction of the wall you are on, you'll hold on to it like a spider. Like an old spider. So there's no reason for me to go up there, I don't think. I've missed I missed a little bit of money because I can't from what it seems like God. Um from what it seems like the that thing looks like a mine. Um I don't want to mess with it, so I'm not going to. Um and there is a mine right there too, assuming that's a mine. Uh, so what we are going to do is I am going to skedaddle and get out of here. We didn't get all the money, but we got 98%. What up? What up? That's two successful heists. So from what it seems like, 90% seems to be the sweet spot when it comes to heist. Oh, it... I can hack it! Oh my god! That's amazing. Alright. Slap these guys. Hack it. Hack it up. Right. Left. Hacked. Okay. So I guess I guess it just means if anybody runs runs through here. Oh, that was sweet. Oh god. Okay. If anybody like a cop or cuz I don't think any patrolling guard should be running through there, but I guess if we trigger an alarm and Scotland Yard shows up, then we can use that to our advantage. God. Okay. Smack you down. Smack you down. Smack. Oh good. Right. Left Right. Hurry up. There we go. Okay. So we will hack this too, really quickly. Not quickly enough, apparently. All right. So we're good there. All right. Okay. We're okay. We're doing it. We're getting it. Making some money. Making our way downtown. Ooh, they just showed up <laughs> as I left. Successful heist, 90%. Okay, seems to be the sweet spot. All right, so now we are going to go back. We are going to go to miscellaneous, and we are gonna get clearance to... There you go. Okay, so 400,000 pounds, what? allows us to get access to the basilisk. That is ridiculous. But such is the life of a thief, am I right? So what else do we have? We have... we can get bombs... steam... okay... auto steam... bug... 
Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we want some of these skills. That's going to take a little while. Alrighty. Well, I lied. That took a little bit less time than I thought. Let's do one run at the warehouse. Um, so this one was in the underbelly of London Town. This one is along the banks of the Thames. It is a vast array of colossal warehouses, each docked to the river to allow easy import and export of goods around the world. So, theoretically, being that the slums probably is kind of some low-income areas, the only money we were stealing was from the, uh, oh my god, I can't get <laughs> into that. We are, we are reaching some, uh, unforeseen, uh, complications here. Um, came across a locked door, so... But theoretically, this should... We should be able to net a little bit more money. It's at the very least a more aesthetically... Aesthetically pleasing... Um... A little little area. So, um... That in and of itself is just a... Is, is dandy. But... Hopefully, we are able to at least get some money. Because from what it seems, there are a number of locked doors. Which we can't get into. Um... That is water. Not sure if you were aware of that. Uh, can't get in through this door. So the issue we may be having right now is I may have to end up going back to the slums and get some money because apparently I might not have an upgrade that I need. Um, we are going to knock this thing out and I'm going to hop down here. I should be able to hack this. I was worried about that because I saw the lock on the computer and I wasn't sure. Ho! Oh, so that's what that means. That's what that means. Oh god. Oh. Lordy. McGordy. Lordy. Lady. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Alrighty. So. I guess it means that we just. Um. Set off an alarm. So let's. Uh. Before we. Before we break for this part, let's take a look at some of the skills we need. Abilities. So we need to be looking for locked doors. That's exactly what we needed. Alrighty. There we go. We got it. Look at us, everybody. We are master criminals in the making. Uh, bionic eyes. That's kind of neat, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I can see how that could be useful. Now my thing is, what are bombs for? I'm not completely sold on getting one of those yet. I want to see what my other options are. Um, let's go with let's go with the bombs. We'll get those and start. Hopefully, just the fact that we can open locked doors now will pave the way for us to be able to really make some good money, really start making some headway, because a lot of these upgrades are really expensive, and we need more money than we are currently bringing in. But, like I said, like I promised, um, we made it to the warehouse district. I made it there much more quickly than I thought I would. Honestly, didn't even think that the time frame that I was laying out for this part would have gotten us there in time, but we did it. We made it, and um, this will be the end of this part. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, we have 88 days. 88 days left to reach the Basilisk, to rob what we need to rob, shut down what we need to shut down, and continue our life of crime here and into the future. Like I said, my name is Chris. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stick around. Hopefully, uh, as we continue our heist in the swindle. Thank you, everybody. See you later.